We had a few head turns. So Good morning, you guys. It is almost 10 a.m. and I'm proud. I went to the gym bright and early. The kid is not going to school today because he has a doctor's appointment at noon and he can't miss this appointment so he has to take a i was about to say a snow day but a doctor's day i guess whatever he'll just get the work that he is supposed to be doing today i already let the teacher know uh, so i'm gonna get ready so i can take him to that appointment and later on i'm gonna do a few a little bit of meal prep i think i showed you guys yesterday a little snippet of me putting my new covers i'm looking at them right now i honestly think that i should have sized down with the covers so they can look more packed in there but i really need to go to home goods because i really need a painting for the back wall in my family room. It's been too long and I need to get one. These are the pillows that I ordered from Amazon that I told you guys about. These are so good, honestly. Um, they're from Beckham Hotel Collection and they are down alternative pillows. They're so comfortable. I'm gonna link them down below if you're interested, but honestly, they are, I think they're regular $80, but it's wait until they go on sale because I've scored both of these on Amazon Prime for 45, but they're so comfortable. I already have two on my bed, so this is the other two that I need. I am ready for the day. I'm gonna take this kid to this appointment real quick and then come back. what's up you guys it is now 4 30. i think the last clip that you guys saw i went to ihop what happened to ihop after the doctor's appointment we just said okay we're just gonna we're out let's just do a mommy son lunch date or whatever i'm like choose where you want to go can we go to ihop and i'm like sure whatever me not understand i haven't been to ihop in a long time but it, it was nasty it was so disgusting i ordered some scrambled egg turkey bacon and the turkey bacon me don't know where they get this turkey bacon from it was so salty it was not cooked even fried properly even Xander said oh that don't even look cooked mommy then Xander wanted some chicken tenders listen the chicken tenders I swear they have that in their freezer frozen for months I said okay Zinder, yeah let's just pay them their money and get out of here it was disgusting i said i can't eat this we cannot eat this let's just go let's let's just go and then of course you know they upcharge you for the turkey bacon anyways so i came back home husband was uh working from home today so he did cook dinner and i made some cabbage bok, bok choy ca you know jamaica we say pop choy but it's bok choy cabbage bok choy our staple we love that in this house and then i made some cabbage and some um ground turkey together i'm probably gonna make some cauliflower rice to throw with that for this week i'm about to go to home goods to get this Get one of these things to put my spoons and stuff on my counter i think i showed you guys in the last vlog come to think of it i'm gonna start editing that vlog tonight so that at least i can put it up tomorrow because my claims is a made of vlogtober oh <sighs> and i've been dropping off the wagon but i changed the wig because i didn't like what that other wig looked on my head <sighs> i'm trying to grow my hair back and in doing so I cannot keep having the, the, the top part of my hair out because this part of my hair grow properly and then this top part of my hair is too much heat being put on that part of the hair. So it's damaging this part of my hair. Sometimes you know, I want to do the braids. So that's why I'm kind of trying to do these wig situation and I'm not 100% fan of these closure wigs because to me they just never look right. I can never do them right. Too much information I know let's go i just made some coffee i was about to go to starbucks and get some coffee and i'm like girl you got starbucks pods just make yourself a cup of coffee and go about your business so 
this is my coffee i bought something else from amazon you know them the cynic one give me just i realize so i need to look at my amazon or call them but let's go I'm at guys you remember me trying to go to office max to get these shredded why are these still in my car i just look back here and i'm like girl try to go shred these again some hand sanitizer i just found these little snacks in home goods i'm a snucker for snacks when i go to like home goods i always go to like the little snack section or the section where they um have the healthy stuff i'm on my own keto journey and having grown up in korea i wanted something different with diverse flavor or whatever so they said this is seaweed chips now this smells terrible <laughs> this is horrible smelling this is horrible this is terrible $2.99 that one here wasabi it's a flax seed that one here wasabi So if you're going there, I want to see them here. Don't buy them. Well, don't buy that one. Let's see this one. Oh, horrible! Oh my god. Mm -mm. So that was six dollars flushed on the toilet because it's a no, baby. Mm -mm. Anyway, let's go. I didn't get what I was looking for. I'm probably gonna stop in TJ Maxx and see if I find the thing for my spoons. If not, I'll go to the other home goods. This is not the this is not my favorite home goods, anyways, because I feel like they never have nothing yet. I just saw a mirror in there that I want. Uh, but I want it to be gold or I don't want it to be black. I, I need edge the trim to be and a bronze, goldish bronze, something like that, but not black but it's the perfect size for where i want to put it and it's under 200 dollars because i don't want to pay more than i said 200 but it's not i don't want black let me run into tj maxx my god that was so disgusting i don't even have no mint or anything in my car because that taste that got left in my mouth is nasty Whew, i should have never spent my six dollars on that i am back home and i did not get what I went to go get instead I ended up going to TJ Maxx and Marshall's didn't find anything in Marshall's but in TJ Maxx I ended up picking up a few things in there um, I just I grabbed this little bag because I have this little bag in my work bag and it look a hot mess you know for me to put like my essentials in when i'm going to work i'm just on the right here so i eat this was only what 8.99 but there's something in my work bag look so bad you know the faux leather thing i went time the faux leather worn out it's a rub off this is a, what material is nylon kind of nylon because it's the same material as my tory bird work bag and it can be wiped down so love that for me um my reg my deodorant that i wear i love these um humble deodorant i always buy them at marshall tj maxx they're only 5.99 and then this is the shampoo that i use for my son's hair i use it in my hair as well but i mostly use it in his hair this i use the conditioner and the shampoo is it too bright i'm using my little maybe if i turn it off See, if I turn it off, look at that. This thing was a good money spend. 
love these for his hair i'm about to probably eat something really quick before it gets to eight o'clock because i'm trying not to eat after eight o'clock and then get myself ready for bed for the night good morning afternoon it's after 12. went to the gym as you saw i think i did a little snippet in the gym my right knee is bothering me so bad last night i took 600 motrin and then this morning i had to put the voltaren rub on my knee it's not helping so i just kind of walked the treadmill i didn't go on the steer master today because i couldn't manage it i just blended up a little green juice smoothie type thing i don't know um i forgot i bought this let me show y'all i just put a scoop in here i don't even know how this is gonna taste let, let me do a taste this you know them green powder things i bought that a long time ago i don't even know if this thing is expired because i kept looking at the container to see if it's expired i can't taste it but it's not so bad let me show you this thing i had bought this from sam's club and i'm looking for the expiration date and i can't find the expiration date when there's something here i tried to put this thing in water one time and drink it when me tell us i made a government me did a government me couldn't manage it so i don't know all them people here drink then something here with just water where is the expiration date whatever i still just use it and then i just boiled two eggs so i'm gonna do two boiled egg and this and then drink my whole thing of water because yes i have to keep on top of my water drinking yesterday when i was in home goods i found this thing there's a recipe that i saw on pinterest so this is what this this says there's a recipe that i saw on pinterest that i wanted to make and it's basically like these balls so i don't eat junk and i was gonna make it and then i saw this and i'm like oh because me lazy <laughs> it's a just add your your nut seed butter and sweetener so literally i'm just gonna add my almond butter and put some honey and that's it so i'm gonna try this out i might make this today and see how it come out i read the ingredients and everything is really good in here it's just organic coconut flour oat flour organic oat flour cacao nib organic um cacao powder organic shredded coconut sprouted flaxseed chia seed it's literally just really clean ingredients so that's why i bought it and it was only 4.99 I cooked pizza salmon and I did some sweet potato, um, American sweet potato, Jamaican sweet potato. I roasted them in the oven. The Jamaican sweet potato is so good. I'm gonna show you what it look like. So the Jamaican sweet potato look like this and you already know what American sweet potato look like. So I normally put them together, a little bit of olive oil, roast them in the oven with um, Italian seasoning. It is so good. Let me show you what it looks like so that's what it looks like you can tell the jamaican ones are the ones that look wider and then i'm about to cook those i just bought this the other day i need to wash it but i really like it <laughs> oh god <laughs> try the other one no, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> good morning you guys it is friday and it is 10 29 i have an appointment at 10 30 to take my car to get serviced and i'm at the gas station pumping gas <laughs> many for the better with time i'm really i'm really trying <sighs> let me i'll be right back hold on y'all all right you guys i am downtown detroit getting ready to go to the lip bar i think they're having their grand opening today so the sister and i we're going to the opening it's raining so we're going to try to make a dash for it wait i'm ready to all right. I just want you. Yeah, that's small. 
like one with me. Okay. So let's go see what the lip bar is doing. Do they? All right, there goes the lip bar across the street. Melissa is so beautiful. Uh, we're leaving. I got my lip bar goodies and we're about to go to H&M. We had a few head turns talking about, are you twins? Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, H&M time. We had a good time. The food was so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Y'all need to come. To, if you if you live in Metro Detroit, come to this restaurant. Ask for Jesse, because he was amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. 